know, we've worked incredibly hard over the last couple of weeks to, to give ourselves every opportunity to win. Um, and today we've, we've executed in, um, in part uh, an exciting thing for, for me as we can get better. But uh, we'll enjoy that one. You know, we managed to keep um, you know, the home side to, to zero points. Uh, so very, very pleased with, with that final outcome. Stuart, uh, a lot of focus has been on uh, a couple of errors despite your good performances in the first two games. How sweet a moment was that to, to conjure up a try like that and at a moment like that when Scotland really needed it? It was very pleasing because it's something we've worked on. We talk a lot of creating counter-attack ball through our kicking game uh, and we managed to, to manipulate the back three of the, of the Italians uh, and they you know, kick back loosely uh, and that's when we come alive against an unstructured defence and um, there's a lot of method in the madness and you know, thankfully uh, we managed to, to come up against an unstructured defence and, and that's when like myself on the back three uh, come alive um, and thankfully it paid off. It's a first win for you as captain. Does it feel like a little bit like a, a weight's been lifted now? I, I believed in the boys from, from the very very beginning that we can get wins in test matches and um, you know, we, we hadn't performed the way we wanted to in the last couple of games, you know, in little bits and pieces, but the exciting thing is, as I said earlier, we can get better. Um, and this group is, you know, hopefully on now on, on track. You know, it's a, a huge confidence boost for us to, uh, to kick on now. Uh, and the challenge for us is, uh, is taking it into France. You know, it's one thing getting a win. Yes, we'll enjoy it, uh, but we'll work incredibly hard to, to back that up against France in a couple of weeks. In terms of the changing room scenes afterwards, is that going to give you that lift going into the France game, just, you know, the confidence you can take from it. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, you know, I, I believe in the boys. We believe in the structures we've been given to play. Um, and there's a, a hell of a lot of talent within that squad that we can go out and execute. And uh, as I say, I'm proud of, proud of the boys' efforts. And, and now it's the, the chance to back that up and uh, really kick on. It's just the old saying that defence win matches, defence win championships. That's three games now and only two tries conceded, which is, unlike Scotland, that's a big step up there, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Steve Tandys came in and worked incredibly hard with our defence. And again, we believe in his philosophies. Um, he, he brings great energy every single day in training. His structures are uh, are unbelievable, and the boys are executing incredibly well. Um, we don't feel stressed at all uh, with with our structures, um, and we back our ability to to defend. Um, and again, to keep a side like Italy to zero points uh, at their home ground is is massive for us. Um, and now we we've got a challenge to to back that up. What, what do you have to do to, I mean, you're creating chances in all three games so far, what have you got to do to execute that little bit better to, to, to get more tries? Yeah, I think for us it's, it's our patience. You know, we, we have got the, the attack structures there, we've got the players to, to get us into these positions, um, and at times we, we just go a wee bit too early to, to try and score and, and cough up the ball here and there, but you know, when, when we're patient, you know, I don't know how many phases we went through to, to score Charles' this try, but... Um, you know, that was us. You know, we, we, we were in control, we were calm, we were composed, and you know, we, we came away with the, with the seven points there, so, or five points. Um, but look, that, that's what we're about, and for us now, it's you know, um, you know, taking a huge amount of confidence for that and really going on to the France game now. <coughs> um, Stuart, you talked yesterday about feeling defeat more as a, as a captain, does it work the other way? Do you, do, you, do you feel the pleasure of victory more as a captain? What did you say that? Uh, do you feel the pleasure of victory more as a captain? Than yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, for, for me, I, as, as I said, um, you know, the boys have got a huge amount of talent within that team and <coughs> it's, uh, it's a lot easier to, to speak and huddle after the game after a victory. Uh, but for me, as I said to the boys after the game, as, you know, it wasn't perfect by any means, but Nothing ever is going to be perfect, but our attitude was spot on. Um, and again, it's the, the excitement can build because we can get better. Uh, I know I kind of happy on about the same things, but I truly believe in this squad. Um, and for us now, it's, this is just the beginning. We're going to get better and better, and we're going to enjoy doing it as well. Yes, nothing is more, more pleasing. I think when you come away from home against any team, uh, you don't concede a try, you don't concede a point, and you've, you've put in a very good defensive performance um, and the way the game at times was played there were mistakes from both teams so huge encouragement is how we got back and scrambled in defence at times we looked really comfortable in defence as, as Stuart had mentioned but we did have to work hard um, to stop line breaks when we'd made an error or, or Italy had, uh, had some good play 
So that effort, that togetherness, um, and then to get the turnovers as well when Italy were attacking was, was pleasing. <clears throat> yeah, it was a world-class try, uh, and he looked lively as well. There was a couple of other occasions where he was almost through. I uh, thought his decision-making at the back on when to have a run and when to to maybe put more kick pressure on Italy was, was very good. And it's, it's brilliant he, he can sit here now as a captain with, with a win, but um, also have a, a played a big part in that with a, with a great try. <clears throat> no, I think we, we discussed how there'll be tough times. Um, I think it's not any, any Scotland captain are going to go through a period of wins and losses um, and how tough times like speaking to the media after a defeat of, of picking up the players on a, on a Monday after a defeat. We're going to have to go through that and he, he was well, well aware of that. I think uh, probably his lowest point was um, how cold he was at the press conference after uh, the England game. Um, but you know, they getting back to Exeter that next last week um, after that England game, I think was was a really good thing for him. Uh, he wouldn't have been allowed to train with us anyway that week. He had to train on the Monday, Tuesday after playing two Test matches back to back and uh, playing in poor weather. He just was really professional, full of energy, and scored a great try for them and a game for us today. Well, from an attacking point of view, just a bit more um, fluency and um, accuracy in our, in our attack. Uh, like our best performance was Ireland, but today was a win, and that means a lot more than, than going to Ireland and, and getting a losing bonus point. But we know we can be better than we, we showed today in, a, in attack. So maybe, maybe that was partly the, the fixture, how we knew how important it was for, for us as a team in this year's championship. Um, partly the playing in Italy, which is a different atmosphere. But we, we have to be better next time, and let's hope that the confidence this win gives us um, will mean that we can attack our last two games playing our best rugby. Did you, can you see them executing better against France because they've had, they've had a win? Really I would hope so. I'd like, we'd, obviously, we hadn't scored a try in the first two games, um, and we had a lot of chances against Ireland, less, less so against England. And today, we maybe... Could left left three or four out there. Um, you're not you're not going to take all your chances, but would love like to have taken. I don't know the Maggie off Magnus offload to to Jamie would have been a good one. Um, I thought it was a really cracking try that Hamish offloaded inside to Sam to Ali, but came back for a a forward pass. So there's there's a couple in there that would have just allowed us to kick on a bit more in the game because the game was still an arm wrestle even at 10 0 uh, and Italy were playing ambitious rugby and had some big ball carriers. So it would have made it an, an easier last 20 minutes. Uh, I think the 10-minute the, the period after halftime was the best we played. Um, we, we scored the first try, and then we created real space for Adam to go through, but we didn't um, connect with the offload. But if we can put that on top of the defensive work, then we'll, we'll be a very tough opponent for France.